Welcome back to Ludendorff's Offensive. This is Gamer1745 here with my continuing playthrough of Strategic Command World War I, and it is the Ludendorff Offensive, as I said, DLC that we're playing here. Okay, we're going to continue to wreck the French army as a means of victory here. Okay, that unit there looks particularly vulnerable. How many shells do we have? Four. Question is, is do we try to take out that unit too? Good, you come up to there. You're just going to sit right there. Can you entrench? I think you're already entrenched. Let's take a look at. Oh, they're not well entrenched. So, next turn, we can maybe start pounding on that. That leaves this turn. Pound on this. Now let's put a shell into them. Yep, I think one will do it. And there we go. This Battle of Verdun is going fairly well. Okay, let's, let's concentrate this turn and pound here. said it's better to fully take out one than half take out two. Okay, so he's done. Oh, they should be upgraded. Wow, they're still in the old pickle hoop. Okay, well, they've attacked, so they can't attack anymore. These guys should be able to Attack here. And yeah, although they do need to be upgraded, and hopefully sometime we will, but okay, so that's two out. So if they move any more reinforcements up into here, they won't be entrenched, hopefully. We'll be able to kill them more efficiently instead of taking out two per turn. We'll take out three per turn. That is the goal. There. Now here, this goal. Okay, that'll be costly. So we're going to shell it into non-costliness. Like statements and like last game, I really, it might make you think I don't care about and power losses, even in just a war game. Mm. Okay. Okay. 
Now here. And here we're trying to hit them on their non-entrenched side. There we go. Yay, there we go. Would they be stupid enough to... No, but we'll still wait and see. They'll move somebody back in there. Yes, I do know we have the artillery there, but we may be using it somewhere else more effectively. the bomb or become bombers now that we are close enough um yes no i know you'll get your interceptors but we'll get escorts so hopefully we'll do well okay that's good yeah Only attack? Yeah, I guess they attack the other unit, that's right. Um oh no, that was my earlier misclick, that's right. Should have been swapped those units out. Okay, well, they might have been better used somewhere else. Okay, well, here we have. Very high morale. Let's move you to the swamps because you could still fire there next turn. They bombed. Just use regular bombers. Well, that worked out well. Okay, two more divisions down. Hmm. 
we push here or do we push here with no you can oh you've never redone your operation okay well we have this bomber too so let's recon bomb that And just take them out. Very good. Receptors, oh yes, we have a score, it's good. Not maybe as good as I was hoping. Yeah, that was more of a... Strategic artillery than a tactical one, if you will. Okay, good. And I think we're going to, instead of keep... Oh, that's so tempting to keep pushing, but... Back to this one. I do want to maybe... They fired. They still have a shell left. Paras is taken. Okay. Well, instead of moving in with a weakened unit, we're going to. Well, it's not taken, I guess, but it, you know, defending it. We're going to let them, if they so choose, back in there. Well, 
we reinforce just like that. So that unit wasn't attacked relatively. It's very good that we were able to reinforce that. Yeah, let's see about pounding this one down. It's down at 47. Ooh, that would be very painful. How many shells do we have left? Three. Let's... Painful for them, that is. Fully got it. Wow. Okay. Um. Hmm. Yeah, that would have more. And can't dig in. I know that's a bit of a problem there, but well, let's move you to here, I guess. Okay, well that's turning their flank if they don't fall either fall back to there or reinforce it, but even then we're still surrounding that unit if they don't kill this guy. Oh, here though, here, here, here. Hmm. We had one more division. Well, no, let's move. No, we can we can let this go for a turn. I had two divisions occupy both of those available there. Okay, well, where do I have a division here? Um, we can't get to there. Okay, but we can get to here. They can come to here and entrench oh, like that. These guys can move to here, just into those entrenchments. So this will be unoccupied, but I don't think they can cut us off there. These guys can come into here and the straight south. The other way. There we go. Okay, so that's a continuous line of trenches. I don't think they have the forces in to kill but one of those units completely there. And as soon as that that can move to here, we'll get that reoccupied and they'll be yeah. That's good. That's good. That's very good. Being passive aggressive up here, but now a little aggressive there too. Okay, now back over to, let's look quickly again at research. We're researching just about everything that we can. Research anti-aircraft defense. We'll spend the 50 MPP on it. Okay. Now we have 650. We've done a lot of reinforcing. Hmm.
I think one more good bit of fighters would be nice. And it does max that out curve for current. And one more. If in three division, there we go. Okay, let's see how they react to us. Um, anything more that we like? Should be well, moving, up, moving artillery. No, uh, nothing. Well, maybe. I don't know. Okay, Paris is hit by a massive strike wave. Okay. Okay, they fell back, which is their smart thing to do there. That wasn't so smart. That's not so smart. Position matters, and territory matters too, but what really with territory matters is not, well, position, yes, is part of territory, but what also matters there is, uh, the Americans are really arriving now, um, is like, say, industrial territory or, um, you know, population centers too, which is often industrial but on resources matter. So meaning if you give up a couple of hexes, but you have, and you maintain good position, you know, um, in the sense of whether it's hills and rivers and whatnot, or just making sure like him retreating back out there, your flanks aren't turned. It's better to give up territory and keep good position so long as you're not giving up significant points, you know, you're not giving up Paris or, or whatever. And yes, playing a human is different than the AI, and I don't know how well. You can program an AI. No, I maybe should be used, say, like the Zeppelin, let's get a Zeppelin over here and recon back into here is this as empty as it looks or they developed another line that I'm just not seeing that's thick because if it's empty as it looks then I should be just pushing 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 because like that guy is looking like he may be out there completely alone with just the Portuguese Okay, we just lost a division. It'll be cheaper to replace, but it yeah, not too good. Hopefully not too. Um we we're replacing and adding another one, but it does take time. Okay, they fell back there. Move the Portuguese up there, move more Portuguese over to there. I think there's only two Portuguese divisions. That's all there was historically. Yes, we lost a division. Okay, heavy bombers. Let's, yes, let's put them... Hopefully they have decent range. We'll put them over here. Now... Uh, I'm both thinking more up here because I don't know if this is about ready to collapse and a couple of divisions would really be nice pushing there, but down here. A couple of divisions might just make a lot of difference. And one more artillery, which I got some here, and maybe they should... Well, mm, we're just killing them a lot around here.
I could even stick it there, but it wouldn't be able to attack this turn. Oh. Okay. I think supply is the big problem here. So let's see about putting you here. I think the other one we will put up. Are we desperately, well, we got the unit in here, there, which will move to here. But one more would be nice over here. Okay. Okay, that's all of our reinforcements. Let's save this. And if you haven't already, love for you to subscribe to the channel. You know, it's if you make, especially if you've made it this late into the video, I just checked 63% of viewers of the channel overall are not subscribed. If you've made it this far, I really wish you would subscribe, though probably most all of you have made it this far have. And but you don't know how much liking the video, commenting below, that all helps. And the sort of super help, of course, is to share the video somehow. Um, call a friend up on, on the telephone and say, hey, you've got to watch this World War One game video or something. That would really, really help a lot. So thanks so much, though, just for getting this far. See you next time for more historical gaming.